Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to System Crash. We're going to give Marty's finances another go, guys. Now, we still have the special condition of enemy agents have plus one armor. So I've altered the deck to have some more offensive cards as well as some more hackers so we can gain OP just at a very, very fast rate because it's still 50 against 30. So let's go ahead and launch the mission and see if this, if our luck is a little bit better this time around. And ew, that's not going to work. There we go. I like that. Now, it depends. Security gets to play first. That's going to be somewhat of a problem. But it's okay. Neon Monger to start out. And we can't kill the Neon Monger outright. I have three open fire cards in the deck. Let's actually just throw Neon Monger for Neon Monger right now. And see what they do to... Yep. I saw that hap- I saw that coming, actually. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to play Richard. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's go ahead and take care of that one. Tit for tat. And let's go ahead and add Richard right here, unopposed. Oh, crap. Hello there, ghost. Hmm. Keep on forgetting that ghost is in this, uh, is in here. So we can go ahead and rock out the Electronet if we feel so inclined. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. And then we can rock out some good cards here in the next turn, hopefully. And they get more body armor. Hells, bells. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and play Wei. She's because uh, ghost attack is four. She can go ahead and one shot. Which is good. And we'll play the worm. Excellent. Now they're probably going to play an assault card. Neural backlash. Okay, that's fine. We've got plenty of those. As soon as we play, as soon as we get one of those, we should be able to knock them down as well. So let's rock out Ashley to take on the Neon Monger. We're about to lose Richard, unfortunately, but that is what it is. Gain 5 OP. It's a deck very similar to mine. Hey, Marty. You traitor. <laughs> Countermeasures 1. Our mighty. Not looking good at the moment, but we've been able to pull off victories before. So, let's just see what happens. There goes Way, unfortunately. 8 and 8. Let's counteract. Let's put the drone right there. We'll throw Lewis there, and that should give us battle plan. I think battle plan will... Uh, I don't know. Let's do that right now. Get everyone some added firepower. That should help out. There goes the Neon Monger. And their version of Jinx just came in into the fold. We're getting some bad draws here, but all we can do is hope that we get countermeasures here soon to kind of even the odds. And there's a, another hacker for them. Man, not the case. 
at all. Hell's bells. Oh well. Um, let's go ahead and give Jinx some armor. Now it's 17 to 31. Anything can happen here. And we just lost Ashley. It's okay. We got plenty of cannon fodder. Actually, we got Big Bad Hendrix here. Some of our big guns. Now, in terms of resources, they gain another five. Oi, 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 oi. Well, that's not what I'm really wanting at the moment, but... You know what? Might as well go ahead and play it. And then we'll play this satellite to pump everyone's attack up by three. And that should take out everyone here. And actually, Hendrix just won it for us. Huzzah! Much better that go around. It was a good idea just to go pure offense. Now, what do we get for our bronze rewards? 400 credits, excellent. And another crippling shot. I don't really use crippling shot a whole lot. But now we've got nothing but storyline quests. Which is interesting. We have ran out of side quests. Let's go to the black market real quick. I can go ahead and sell all of these crippling shots for 100. Let's go ahead and keep two of them. We need to kind of lower our... get rid of our overhead. So let me go ahead and take care of this real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I sold a few cards. We've got 7,250 credits. Hopefully this uh, break-in at McNutley Construction will uh, pay some big dividends for us. Break into the McNutley Construction mech yard and upload the Haywire program to their central control hub. Decks, you know, definitely go with Cypher, that's all we have. 50-50. And we've got an Assault and Jessica. That's definitely starting out the game with a bang. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and redraw. That might be a mistake on my part, but... That one's better. And we get to play first. Both of us chose to redraw our starting hands. Now let's see what McNutley has in store for us. There weren't, there wasn't any like special... Oh, we got the draw a card, that's nice. There wasn't any special circumstances or anything. So let's go ahead and rock out Richard. And she would actually survive. Well, I don't want her to take out the Neon Monger, so you know what? Let's go ahead and play Assault. She won't survive the Neon Monger hitting her. Thank you for the free card. Now, this is what I was expecting. There's going to be a lot of mech stuff that we're going to have to be dealing with. So we're going to play two worms along with Richard. That'll give us quite a bit of OP to start out with. Deal six damage. Yeah, saw that coming. What we got here? So many new cards. Your agents cost one less credit to play. When lab technician comes into play, draw two cards. Ooh, That's not nice. It's not nice at all. Let's throw out... Well, that doesn't have a whole lot of offensive capability. Let's go ahead and throw Jinx out. Now, the mech's going to take out the Neon Monger. 
but only do one damage to the Jinx at the moment. Nah, I like that. And we've got Wei, which is five or less, so... Wait a minute. Destroy non-mech agents with five or less... Uh, okay, I'm glad I read that first. So, let's not worry about that at the moment. Let's rock out... Hmm. Let's have Ashley go here against Big Bada. We know who to throw out the second that there is a non-mech person on play. Tarantula. Countermeasures. Hmm. Keep accumulating, my friends. Now, we're going to go ahead and play some countermeasures of our own. And equip some body armor. And we are not even going to worry about having way yet. Got to save her for a rainy day. Attack plus one. What is that? Enemy agents cost one more credit to play. Ew. I need some troops here in a really bad way. Um, let's go ahead and get this mech done with. And we'll play the turret. We're going to be taking a little bit of chin music. There you go. Oh, mech for mech. I like it. Let's go ahead and do that. Two. And, oh, I probably should have waited on that. Crap. Well, it's okay. We'll see what happens. Crippling shot. Oh, I didn't know that you could do crippling shot like that. Interesting. So we'll throw Zeke in here to absorb some fire from the Tarantula. We'll have Wei come out here and deal with the security guard. Like so. And they just lost all their hacking. Holy crap. Hmm. I am not a fan. <laughs> and we are tapped out on in terms of cards. But we did get rid of the tarantula, so that's good. Deal six damage, who are you hitting? Ah. Keep on accumulating. Richard, you too. And Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do anything to that mech. We're doing no damage. But we are gathering up OP at an ex accelerated rate. Thank God for no haste on any of these mechs. Go forth, mighty security guard. Die well. It's 41 to 19, and I haven't used any of my countermeasure cards at all. There we go, the Neural Backlash. And... Yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on here. Let's see how they respond. They gave up the ghost. All right. You've broken through the outer perimeter security. Now to head for the control room. Story mission complete for 400 credits. Nice. We get a bronze and a silver. 
700 credits. Overwatch AI. Mech agents you control gain attack plus 2 and armor plus 2. Well, if we wanted to go for that, that would be actually kind of nasty. We got 8,350 credits too, guys. How many more days do we have to pay back Miriam? 12 days. Well, we can go for round two. Let's uh, see what happens here. Finish your run on the McNutley Construction Mech Yard. Get to the control room and upload the Haywire program. You race through the shadows cast by the motionless construction mechs, heading for the low squat building at the center of the compound, the control room. From there, you can upload the Haywire program that'll send the mechs berserk. An alarm begins to wail somewhere nearby. You must have missed one of the gate guards. Through the window of the control room, you can see movement. You're going to have to fight your way through. Of course we are. Let's do it. Now this time it's 50-50. Oh, it was 50-50 last time, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, that looks good. Always well, we start out with a neon monger, apparently. That seems to be the theme this episode. Now we're going to probably be dealing with some nasty mechs. Actually, no. We're dealing with Richard. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Give a nice pistol to the neon monger. For minus four. It's okay. We've got the, uh... Is this a hacker deck? Kind of glad we did what we did then. Let's rock out Zeke. Right here. Richard's going to be dead at the next turn. Goodbye, Richard. I want you to play a lot of program cards. Yeah, this is definitely a hacker deck. No doubt. It's protecting these guys, protecting them while they just accumulate. Um, probably a perfect time to go ahead and play this then. And we can still play an assault card if we so wish. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. Oh, well, almost. Return target agent to controller's hand. Who are you returning? Aw. But you're getting no OP. That's a shame. Let's two. Let's go ahead and throw Zeke back in. And give ourselves some attack increase. There's Jinx. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Now we have six. Let's play the turret. And there's no reason playing Neural Backlash yet. That was a weird place to play an innocent bystander. Really don't understand why that is. And there's some worms. Okay. Well, if you want to deal with uh, Uncle Hendrix there, Jinx, I've got no qualms. There you go. Uncle Hed Hendrix will see you now. I think they actually kind of screwed themselves over by throwing in the innocent bystanders. And who are you? Target allied non-mech agent gains hacking 5 at the start of your turn? Ooh! That's an awesome card. I like it. We will play a worm ourselves. And... Hmm. What to do? Let's rock out the data disk and draw some more cards. I like what I'm seeing. And there's Wei, and Wei will take care of her directly. Boop! And take that, and go away. Boop. 
Excellent. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and throw Ashley to deal with Richard. And we've got five. Let's play the satellite and increase all of our attack up. We're doing good. It's 12 against 11 right now. It's actually relatively... Relatively equal. But I think this is actually not going to uh, be much of a fight. I'm not going to summon... I'm not going to summon the spider. I like the fact that that cell is empty. Let's play... Assault and kill Richard. And we are about to get a bunch of OP very, very quickly. I like it. Fourteen. Holy crap. Thirty-seven. The tables have turned. And that... that's it. There's nothing they can do. Well, let's play Psychic Backlash. Or Neural Backlash. And cement... cement our win. Because we got credits to spend. He didn't have a prayer. Screens line the walls of the control room. Readouts displaying the operation, operating status of each mech. You hurry to one of the blinking consoles and begin uploading the Haywire program. One by one, the readouts show the mechs powering up as they sync with the software. From outside the building, you hear powerful engines roaring into life. Gears grinding and piston surging. Then a crash, as something heavy slams into something hard and metallic. It started. You exit the control room, dodging between the gigantic machines as they stagger around drunkenly, mechanical appendages flailing wildly. A cacophony of crashing metal and collapsing brickwork assaults your senses as the mechs smash into each other in the storage buildings around the compound. It takes all your agility and focus to get out without being pancaked, but finally you make it back onto the street. Seconds later, one of the mechs crashes through the wall, charging toward a nearby apartment block like some monster in a sim, uh, sense sim feature. You don't stay to watch. It won't take long for Metrosec to arrive. You can already hear the sirens in the distance. You disappear down an alleyway and into the San Angeles night. How much money? 450. We get a silver and a gold reward. Silhouette. On play, draw two cards. Cannot be targeted by events. Neat. Another runner. And Ghost. Nice. I was wondering if I was ever going to have you in my uh, organization. Incoming call from Jojo. <laughs> that was fracking great, man. You see the news? The McNutley crap was all over it. Company rep was furious, calling it an act of wanton destruction. Popular theory is it's anarchist kids looking for their five minutes of fame. Ha <laughs> ha! Entertainment value aside, the client's pleased. Amtech will get the bid easily now. He's wired through the credits, and I'm sending you your cut. 70% like we agreed. Thanks. Good doing business. Credits transferred. Be seeing ya. And Jojo disconnects. Incoming call from Dr. Adelson. My friend, it is unfortunate that I should need your services again so soon, but I'm afraid that I'm in a dire predicament indeed. You got the credits, I got the time, Doctor. As you know, I run the clinic on Worrell Street. Along with our normal day-to-day -day activities, my clinic provides certain, shall we say, unadvertised services. Illegal, you mean? That is one way of putting it, yes. We perform unlicensed body modification and enhancement for clientele who do not wish their new augmentations registered with the appropriate authorities. Uh, to facilitate these procedures, I arrange for certain goods to be shipped to my clinic through contacts in Seoul and other places. Cybernetic prosthesis, black market organs, chemical agents such as the uh, chemical you recovered for me. Sounds like a tidy li little operation you got going there, Doc. So what's gone wrong? Such arrangements are necessarily secretive, but it appears that my secret has been compromised. A number of unremarkable shipping depots have been robbed lately. 
depots containing my shipments. Nothing but my cases were taken. There was nothing else of value in those depots, which was the point. To an outside observer, these depots would seem to contain little more than low-cost construction goods. Someone knew. I see your problem. Not the kind of theft you can take to the authorities. No, clearly I cannot take my problems to Metrosec. That is why Mr. Jojo suggested I come to you. I believe that one of my people has betrayed me, sold details of my shipments to a third party. Any idea who might have leaked the emails? Not yet, but I am investigating. Be assured, I will find the culprit. In the meantime, I must have my merchandise back. The crate stolen contained more than a dozen 7th generation arm and leg prosthesis. I have buyers waiting who have already put down deposits, deposits that I, in turn, used to procure the prosthesis. Losing this investment would ruin me, financially. So you want me to try and track down those crates? That might be difficult to do, San An is a big city. Locating my crates will not be necessary, I already know where they are. Fortunately, it appears that my leak does not have access to all my communications. If they did, they would have known about the tracking devices embedded in the prosthesis themselves. The thieves appear to have split my merchandise and stored them at various locations in the Undercity. Guarded, I am sure. I'll provide you with locations. Retrieve them for me and I'll make it well worth your while. Send through the details and I'll see what I can do, Doc. Uh, one more thing. Security footage shows neon mongers hanging around two of the depots before they were robbed. Hmm. First the shipment, now this. Someone in your operation is feeding the Neons information, Doc. Yes, it would appear so. For the Neons to be involved again like this, it is too much of a coincidence. A hacker Mr. Jojo recommended one Richard is scouring the clinic's computer systems for any trail our traitor may have left. In the meantime, you must recover my prosthesis, or prosthetics, before the thieves discover and disable the tracking devices. Please, you must move quickly. Time is of the essence. And the doctor disconnects. And now we have some more side quests. Interesting. But before we do that, I think we're going to go ahead into Cypress Oaks, guys, and we will do that at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.